is Artastic and in this video art tutorial we're going to be drawing a lovely vampire shark. So grab your favorite art making mediums and let's make some art. We're going to be drawing a vampire shark. So here we go. Grab your favorite choice art making medium and we're going to start off with the shark's head. So we're going to start off on the left side of our paper and draw towards the right. So we're going to start off by putting a couple dots. One dot on one side for the tip of shark's nose and one dot on the other side where the tail will bend in. Okay, so that's how long our shark is going to be. Okay, now in the middle, we're going to put one dot above and one dot below. So we have a very wide diamond, essentially. This will be the, where the fin, the dorsal fin is going to go and our bottom fins as well. So we're just mapping out a game plan for our vampire shark. All right, here we go, shark time. So we're going to start off with the snout. We're going to do a nice curving line up. And up again towards that middle dot. We're gonna add a dorsal fin, so whoosh, big curving line, and curve it back down, just like that. And bring that line right down to that sort of middle dot there at the bottom. All right, big curving line up for the mouth. We're going to bring it back out and cover it around to that dot on the bottom. Where that dot is, we're going to add a fin, so a nice curvy fin, almost like a leaf shape. And you can draw it however you want. I like to add a lot of expressive curves there. Then I'm going to continue from that fin and go narrow towards the tail. I'm going to give it a nice little short tail here. All right, from there I'm going to go out, curve line up, and curve line down and out. From there we're going to curve inward and then outward again to connect the top and bottom for the tail. Now this is looking awfully typical shark, um, so we're going to add a few normal shark details and then we're going to add some vampire qualities. Alright, so we need to first wear this tail, lit, or this fin is here, we're going to add the gill, so we'll draw one big curving line and then we're going to follow it with two more smaller curving lines. Okay, we're going to draw curving line along the belly. All right. Next, we're going to draw a shark eye. So we're going to draw a curving line up and over. And then we're going to make it a white eye. So it's going to be glowing. So we're going to draw a circle in there. We're going to thicken the line around it. And then we're going to leave that eye white as it's a vampire. So we're going to make a glowing effect in a little bit. Okay. So next, we're going to add a nostril. To make it a vampire, we're going to add some vampire head face quality. So we're going to draw a curving line down, up and over for the top of the head. So we have that nice little... Widow's Peak go in there and we'll bring it over along the back, just like that. And we're going to take our dark color and we're going to color it in and we're going to pull it out from that line, just like that. So it's kind of just like a nice shadow fading into the rest of our vampire shark. All right. For the teeth, of course it has lots of pointy teeth, but we're going to make two very prominent pointy ones at the front and then give a row of typical pointy shark teeth in behind it. 
All right, give it some expression. We wanna add a nice curving line just around the mouth there. Cheeky, cheeky. Okay, and I like to add some curving lines here and there along the perimeter just to add some detail and texture. How fun is that? All right, now you can always add other things like a cape onto your shark if you want. Um, I'm gonna add another fin here in the back. That's just peeking out. And then to make it look like it's in the distance, I'm gonna shade it in with some lines to make it look darker and farther away. All right, so now that we got Vampire Shark all drawn up, you can go around the outside lines, thicken them up, make them bold and beautiful. And then we're gonna get ready to color in our Vampire Shark. So once you're done outlining and redefining your lovely vampire shark, we're gonna start off with the eye first. So we're gonna grab a nice bright red. And what we're gonna do is we're going to just go along the inside, along the bottom, and we're gonna outline that eye with red. And then we're going to add hatching lines coming out in a circle. And I'm gonna barely touching my paper to make nice fine lines and make hatching lines go outward to make it look like this eye is glowing like that. This glowing red eye. I think I'm gonna add, there we go, a little bit more. Okay, so we got red. Next, I'm gonna go along the bottom. I'm gonna add just a fine line of orange, just along the bottom. I'm gonna add that below the eye as well, just a little tiny bit. And then I'm just gonna add one little circle of yellow along the inside, leaving just a little bit of white at the end here. And I'll add some yellow around that glow area on the outside as well. How cool is that eye right there? Okay, vampire. So I'm gonna color in the rest of the top here with a nice darker color. So I'm gonna pick, hmm, let's do a, I'm, I'm struggling. Do I wanna go brown or do I wanna go blue? I think I'm gonna go with a nice dark blue along the top here and then we'll feed it out the bottom. All right, so you can go ahead and color in your fabulous vampire shark.
beautiful. And once your vampire shark is done, your lovely vampire shark drawing. Perfect for, well, I guess whenever you need a vampire shark in your life is done. Thank you so much for watching this awesome video. Please make sure that you hit that like button and in the comments tell me what you would like to see in the next episode as well. If you would like to see more episodes, please hit that subscribe button. It will definitely allow me to continue to make these fabulous art videos. Well, for more art lessons, check out Artastic Kids. It is my online streaming art lesson community for kids and families so that you can make art with easy to find art mediums anytime, anywhere. Artastic Kids is where kids can unleash their creativity, build essential skills, and have fun. So visit artastickids.com to learn more. Mm -hmm.